What's up, beautiful people? My name is Derek Standifer. Uh, First off, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Um, and to start off this year's uh, versions of Solving Sundays, I have the high honor, the high privilege of having the hardest working person I know, Miss Nicole Everett of Conversations with Nicole. Nicole, um, she just transitioned from her full-time job and took that leap. And now she is fully committed to Conversations with Nicole. And when I tell you nobody deserves the highest honor of working for themselves and being a full-time entrepreneur in this moment right here, it's an honor to have her on the show. Miss Nicole Everett, how are you good, ma'am? I am very well, Derek. I am so honored to be here with you. When you invited me to come join you, I thought, what an awesome way, an awesome way to start off 2021, being on Solve It Sundays with you. I tune in quite frequently, and I enjoy your interviews, so it is an honor and a pleasure. I think it's so befitting that you are the first uh, first guest on Solve It Sundays for 2021, simply because... Um, you are a woman tour. I look up to you. You're one of them people that I want to make proud. Um, you're you're uh, showing you're paving the way for you know for the for this platform, these styles of platform. You started conversations with Nicole several years ago, and it's been highly successful. You've grown into a pillar in Tallahassee. Um, man, it's amazing. And I know Nicole. I text Nicole. I get, it's an honor to say that I can text her and call her. She's a celebrity here. Um, and. From the work that she's done, everybody knows she has a beautiful heart. She supports every mission, all the positive missions that are in Tallahassee. She supports, she's a part of. So I'm excited for y'all to share uh, the wisdom that Nicole Everett brings to, yep. to the platform. Absolutely. You are so kind, Derek. I mean, I've <laughs> known you for several years through Black on Black Rhyme, specifically Back Talk. Talk back. <laughs> all right. So, and I enjoy, I've enjoyed your poetry and just watching you grow so dr standifer is on deck and i'm, I'm here to learn and, and to grow with you yes ma'am yes ma'am um so the we're here on solving sundays we juxtapose solving the rubik's cube to solving the twists and turns of life and i'm pretty sure people want to want to know um how you are able to elevate to the level that you operate on you operate at an extremely high level like i say you're the hardest working person that i know and i want to know the, i want to know the secrets i need to know the wisdom teach us sensei wax on wax off mr miyagi so um, <laughs> the first step of solving the rubik's cube the first step of solving life is to believe and i think you've taken the ultimate uh the ultimate challenge of belief by transitioning from your job from your place of income to fully doing conversations with nicole so can, can you explain that what what prompted this decision what made the transition i'm excited for you what what, what prompted this this move so uh, honestly um conversations with nicole is not anything that i ever dreamed of when i was working at my previous stop i was planning on being there temporarily because when I joined the, the organization, the thought was that there would be a four-year stay. So I actually was planning to make my exit from the beginning. I was starting to prepare to make my exit. And I was going to start my own consulting firm as a credit counselor slash uh, financial literacy expert guru, if you will. And so... You know, I started moving in that direction in terms of getting my certifications and and making that transition, making those connections while I was mm -hmm. there. But along comes conversations with Nicole. And while that wasn't the path that I thought would be my exit when it came about and it took off the way that it has and it's grown because I don't want to make it sound like it, you know, went viral or anything like that, but it's progressively grown and it. It just feels like it's what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what I've been called to do, my, what my, my purpose is, my passion is. So, you know, I'm grateful to have been where I was. I actually wound up being there seven years total, and it gave me an opportunity to build conversations with Nicole while having a steady income and those good benefits at the same time. So, you know, I just took advantage of having that opportunity so it's like i have almost a, a ready-made company <laughs> you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you know all of the groundwork has been laid in terms of you know the business setup i mean i still have some some minor things to do but for the most part all of the the foundation has been laid so now it's just time for me to run with it 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have, um, first of all, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing that background information. Mm -hmm. We have some uh, amazing individuals who are here to join us. Uh, Wally B from Tampa says, two of my folk back to talk. Wally B is good people. Yes, thank he you. is. And uh, we have Miss Ebony Payne. Nicole Ebony! is so brilliant and charismatic, and I just love her. I love concur. Her. Love her I too. concur. Um, yeah. She's a I said she's a pillar in Tallahassee. Um, you know, Nicole's one of those people where you know she like comes into a room, she immediately brings up the energy into the room. Um, and if you have a problem with Nicole, it's automatically we know it's your fault. We know it's not Nicole. We know oh. she's one of those people that will bend over backwards and, and uh, accommodate. And and she's a servant. She has a true servant's heart, and it's a beautiful thing to witness. So, um, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Oh, so, thanks. Thank you so much. I appreciate after that. we um believe in ourselves after we believe in mm -hmm. that brings us to step number two and step number two of solving the rules shoot step number two of solving life is to solve our cross solving your cross is to identify the whys the reasons who do you want to make proud what are the reasons what what inspired you know we kind of handed on that but what are the reasons for you starting conversations with nicole and for you carrying the torch that you choose to carry good ma'am Oh, so that's kind of multifaceted for me. I mean, the original why was actually started in Nefertari's restaurant with me having lunch with folks and doing that on a weekly basis, taking pictures of us and our food and posting it on Facebook prior to the launch of Conversations with Nicole. And it was through those conversations that some, you know, intimate uh, through those those lunch meetings that some intimate conversations came about. And so I thought to myself, you know, this is special. There's, there's something to this. And uh, another black on black rhymer, uh, Miss Hazel, uh, suggested that I start a video blog. And I was like, oh, what? And she said, yeah, you should start a, a video, a blog. You already doing it through Facebook. So I prayed about it, thought about it, talked to Gerald, my, my partner, about it and um you know we kind of went from there so my why has been it, it's kind of evolved but i mean essentially it's the essence of who i am you know i'm a giver um i want to see people win i want to see them succeed and do well and be their best selves my mantra is that we all have gifts and talents that the world is waiting on and we can't sit on those gifts we need to share them so mm -hmm. My platform is the the real why behind conversations with Nicole is to share folks' gifts, talents, passions, purpose with the world. Mm. And my ultimate why, the ultimate, ultimate, which I don't often talk about is I want to be a major philanthropist. I mean, I am a philanthropist now on a small scale, but awesome. I would love to be a, a philanthropist that could give millions of dollars away to FAMU, to um, Ebony's organization in Jacksonville, to, um, you know, just a number of organizations, because I've seen organizations go under as a result of not having enough financial support, financial capacity. So that is the ultimate goal for me. A lot of people have uh, their their ultimate goals are, are for their own personal reasons. She wants to serve and make sure that other organizations are still thriving and they're still here that are needed in the community. I mean, thank you for giving a platform for people to share their gifts. I've had the pleasure and the honor of uh, being interviewed on Conversations with Nicole. And it opens up, it connects, uh, it connects doers and movers and shakers with the community. And it gives people an opportunity mm -hmm. to see what are people doing in their community. So thank you for that. You open up a lot of doors for people just to see people who look like us doing things. Absolutely. That's a beautiful thing. We need young people to, we can go to conversations with Nicole and find mentors and find woman mentors and find people that we can look up to and follow in their mm -hmm. footsteps and they lead us to the path of success. So Absolutely. Um, That's what it's all about, Derek. For sure. Uh -huh. We got Mr. Kivia Lane. She says, hey, family, I love it. Hey. Absolutely. Uh, and Yes, yeah, serving is sewing. I love the way that you parted that. Serving yeah. is sewing. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes. yes, I love that. After we uh, solve our cross, after we develop our why, the third step of solving the Rubik's Cube, the third step of solving life is to fill in your corners. Now, filling in your corners uh, means to surround yourself with people who will push you and motivate you to be the best version of yourself. So, um, and this is a two part question. So, part one. Uh, what kind of people do you have in your circle that allows you to operate at the frequency at which you operate? 
Oh, so highly motivated people. Um, one, mm-hmm. folks that are going to challenge me, not in a combative way, but in a, a way that encourages me to be better and to think outside of the box and to think big. I tend to mm. be more of a detailed person, not really a big thinker or a big picture person. <clears throat> so I really need those folks in my lives to help me like say, like, why not? Why can't you do that? And you know, why don't you even think about it doing even more exponentially bigger than you know what you've already conceptualized? So, you know, those are the type of folks that are like positive folks. Um, folks that, you know, are really trying to do something and go somewhere and, and try to lift up one another. You know, I, I'm all about us edifying and encouraging and, and again, support, you know, that's, that's my big thing. So those are the types of folks that I, I try to surround myself by with, and, you know, I learn so much from people, you know, just, I, I just joined, joined clubhouse. All right. Somebody mm. got me in on clubhouse. So. I mean, I could be on there all day. The, the conversations that they have in there are just phenomenal. But I learn so much from listening to people and their experiences and their knowledge and expertise. It's just, it just blows me away. So um, I just try to surround myself with folks that, you know, maybe know, know more about things than I do. Because, you know, I, I, I consider myself to be a lifelong learner. Um, and I don't want to ever get to a place that, you know, I feel like I've arrived. Not that mm. I am not, not things, but I, I still there's so much. So much. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I wholeheartedly. Uh, I, one, I never knew the connection between Hazel and the transition to of conversations with Nicole. Shout out to Hazel. She's, oh, a, yeah. she's another yes, nurse. Yeah. She's another people that pours into people. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I, I'm a strong believer in surrounding myself with people who are smarter than me. I have no quarrels with being around people who are smarter than me. It's so simple to learn information just by having natural conversations. They're natural conversations. Just being in your environment, you learn new ways of thinking about things. You learn new concepts. You learn new skills that you never even pondered upon just by hanging around people who are smarter than you. Absolutely. So, yeah, love, we, Absolutely. Ebony, we love you as well. Um, I'm yeah. so proud. Congratulations on being mentioned in the Forbes, um, Forbes article. That's an amazing, amazing ac- accomplishment. Um, Ebony was actually on Southern Sundays a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And she, she's so, killing it. I love it. I love killing what it, doing. resurrecting it, and killing it yeah. again. Yes, yes. all of that. All of that. <laughs> so um, in addition to the environment, to the, to the people that you hang around, mm-hmm. um, we also have to immerse ourselves in a positive environment. Um, Zig Ziglar, he has a quote that I love. He says that you are what you are and you are where you are mm-hmm. because of what you allow to go into your mind. And if you want to change what you are and if you want to change where you are, you got to change what you allow to go into your mind. So what kind of content do you feed your mind, your soul and your spirit with? Because um, you do a lot. Oh, my God, you do a lot. And it's amazing to see the consistency. It's amazing to see, you know. Season nine conversations with Nicole. It's amazing to see the transitions to Roku TV. It's amazing to see the growth. So, how do you feed your brain, your spirit, and your soul to operate? Um, right on. So that's you, that's a loaded question, and it's multifaceted. And I'm I'm it's a it's a work in progress. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I'm actually currently doing some fasting. Um, from some things, but also picking some other things up. So um, I had the great pleasure of being a guest on um, Professor Latanya White's IG. She did a, a one-on-one coaching session with me on New on New Year's Eve, and I've been watching these coaching sessions that she's doing like every day at 7 p.m. with business owners. She's studying dynastic wealth and specifically mm-hmm. for first generation Black entrepreneurs. And so I've just been like soaking up every session she has on social media, you know, all of the guests she has on there. And it's just been life to me. And she's a reader, like an avid reader. So she's always throwing out these books that you need to go. So go read or or get on audio. So I went down to the library and picked up like the millionaire contract book and mm. you know, listed a whole bunch of other books. So I'm that that's what I'm filling my days with now um and now as a a new network owner um i have to watch more television 
because I want to see some of the content that's out there. Not that it's a comparison per se, but you know, I just want to kind of see what what's being put out on the airwaves. Mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't mention it earlier, but Greater Works Network is a network me and Gerald started in August um, of 2020. So brand new, you know, on the scene, Roco TV, 40 million viewers. We're just trying to tap into like one of those million. Um, and <laughs> we're trying to put out content. We are putting out content that yeah. is telling our story. So my show right now is what's on, but we have Chuck Hobbs front and center, a new show that he started, a new talk show. Mm. We have a short film coming out um, by Marquisha Lurie Gordon. And we also have a new show, um, uh, Michael Finkley out of Charleston, South Carolina, who he has a talk show. He started his show during the pandemic and um, season two will be launching um, in, the, in the upcoming weeks. And then we're producing a show, uh, a reality show called Ambush Makeover. Uh, which features Nicole Dorsey of Altavis Hair Salon here in Tallahassee. She mm. won our content creators contest and wants mm. to do an ambush makeover show where some deserving woman will be um, presented by her loved one, family, coworker, friends, and we will ambush her and give her a complete makeover. So, uh, yeah. So we got a lot going on, but it's exciting stuff. And we are, you know, just glad to be here for it, to do this work. Ma'am, ma'am, it's amazing to see people serving. Um, you know, you said this earlier, but God gives everybody a set of skills, gifts and talents. And it is our duty to serve using the gifts and the skills and the talents that we that we uh, are given. It's our rank. You know, God placed us on this planet and our rank to God is to serve using our gifts. Thank you for doing that. Um, and okay. thank you for connecting with individuals who are able to serve you know, in that way. So yeah. and when you surround yourself with those types of individuals, um, it allows your light to shine brighter. When you surround yourself with people who are doers, you know, people who are, you know, these type of people who rub off on you. It, it, and, some, and they feel your brain, they feel your spirit, and they feel, feed your soul. Um, yeah. It allows you to carry the torch that you carry. So, Absolutely. yes, we got Miss Charlie Ford. Fasting definitely allows more positive input. Thank you for that input. Thank you for that nice. input. Nice, nice. Um, after we uh, believe in ourselves, after we fill in our corners, um, solve our cross, that brings us to step number four. And step number four of solving the rules, step number four of solving life is to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. Taking it to the next level means to uh, continue to grow, get better. Um, a lot of people, they can get, they, they become um, more literary by reading books or attending YouTube, uh, YouTube University. I'm a big fan of YouTube University, attending workshops like the one that we're on right now. Um, so how do you continue to grow? How do you continue to, to learn new knowledge? I, before we got on the call, uh, you said new year, new gear. You just got some new equipment. Um, so you're making a mission to always improve the quality of your show, to improve the quality of your network. So how do you learn this new information to continue to grow and to, keep, to, to continue to get better and not stay stagnant and not stay complacent with where you are? So we've already kind of covered some of that in terms of the folks that you surround yourself by. I mean, I get a lot of information from them and, and definitely depend on their knowledge and expertise um, and, and trust them. You know, they they know what they're doing. They, they, they've been in whatever business it is or whatever sector that they are involved in. So that's one one way that I do it. But I, too, watch a lot of YouTube so again, I'm always learning through videos and, and things of that nature. Or people will send me videos that they think might be interesting to me. Um, so that's another way. And now I'm about to dive into this clubhouse thing. Like, you know, <laughs> I have my own show on Clubhouse. So y'all be look, y'all be tuning in the Clubhouse to see conversations with the club. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now again, we've expanded to um to Greater Works Network, which is a whole. I mean. I don't think people understand when I tell you I have a network like ABC, CBS, NBC and can have programming 24-7, 365. And that's what I'm looking to. Like, ultimately, that's what we're trying to do right now. It's video on demand and live stream. But we want to have everything that we do, cooking, gardening, poetry, mm. Muse. I mean, we want to do it all. Sports, news, politics, all of that. We want to do it all. So. Listen, if you got a show idea, let, hit, hit us up. Let us know. And let's see how we can make this thing happen. 
So I also, I feel like, you know, again, I connect with experts that, that know this and, and can help out in that area. Right now, we're also team building. So we are looking for interns. We're looking for folks that can assist us with all the myriad of things that we have to do. Um, so the, the days are full and long, but they're fun and they are exciting. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a labor of love for sure. It's a labor, a labor. of love of love um when you're doing the work that you're meant to do it's not it's work it's still work I, you know matter if, if you're in your passion you know you can't hide it you're gonna put in the work but the work is fun it's enjoyable it's good to your spirit it feeds your soul in a way that you know work for somebody else it's not you might like your job it's not fulfilling when you're doing it's not as fulfilling as, as opposed to when you're doing god's work in your own skill set and your own passion so I know the days are long. I, I, we talk, we know, I know the, the, the long hours that you put in. And it's amazing that you are able to keep going. Um, we got a question from Ms. Ford. She says, how can I apply to put content on your network? So if you go to the website, which is greaterworks.network, there's going to type it in for us, greaterworks.network. There is a contact us um, space. So just shoot us an email in there. And, Greater and- work. Greaterworks.network. Yep. Greaterworks.network. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that question. Thank you for that question, Ms. Yeah, Ford. They, yeah, we appreciate that. I mean, we get folks, I, I promise you, probably on a, a weekly basis, I talk to maybe two or three content creators um, about different show ideas that they, they have and want to explore. So that's that's just part of what we do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And that's amazing. Um, A lot of people in 2021, you saw a lot of people, I mean, I'm sorry, in 2020, a lot of people used the pandemic as fuel to start producing content. Um, I went to Best Buy, I was looking for a microphone equipment to enhance the quality of Salt Sundays. And they said, everything is sold out. It's everything, all the marks are sold out. All the computer equipment for these kind of platforms were sold out because people started becoming doers. And that's a beautiful thing when you got people doing yeah. and becoming content creators and 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 think kings and think queens and think tank leaders that's a beautiful situation absolutely so, yeah, yeah i yeah, ran yeah. into the same issue which is why i have my podcast equipment now because a <laughs> lot of that stuff was sold out i mean even with this that i ordered and i actually just ordered it um the end of november beginning of december but the last thing to come was the microphone Mm. <laughs> so, you can't make those microphones fast enough. And and Charlie, you 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 mentioned this, you highlighted this. Well, this is a black woman owned network. That's a make my daughter, my daughter, if, if, if Ayana wants to go and own her own network, she wants to start her own network. She has somebody that she has direct access to that she can grow up watching, watching the couple run her own network. You know, that's you know, we talk about you know when when Barack Obama became president. Now pe- people understood that there's one less obstacle to becoming to the highest position that we can, can that we can strive for. Now we got a network owner right here, and our and our own mist in Tallahassee. We can see her and 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 get involved with her work. That's a beautiful thing. Thank you for uh, inclusion and being a representative in the field that is often overlooked. We appreciate that. Well, no, my pleasure. It's it's a a, a dream of mine. It, look, it, that has come about as a result of some of the challenges that we face with um, doing paid programming on the the local um, networks here. So, you know, we we just don't have those challenges anymore, and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> When you have problems and you, you sometimes you just need to create your own, create your own table to solve the problems. That's a beautiful message. Sometimes you just need to build your own and do your yeah. own. And it eliminates a lot yeah. of the issues, a lot of the paperwork and the real estate. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Right. Um, so um, we are we we have made it through the first four steps of solving the rules. We got the belief. We got the why. Um, we filled in our corners. We've taken it to the next level. And the fifth and the final step of solving the Rubik's Cube and of solving life is to see the bigger picture. Now, seeing the bigger picture simply means to keep your commitment to your commitments. Um, in this thing, this journey called life, you're going to experience the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And we appreciate the mountain peaks, but we also got to learn to appreciate the valleys. So um, when we experience these trials and tribulations, 
how do you keep your commitment to your commitment when things go wrong? And they sometimes do. They sometimes do. When you start your own network, I'm pretty sure you have overcome a slew of obstacles to get to the point that you that you are um now at. So um, how do you? What advice would you give on keeping your commitment to your commitment and staying consistent in the work that you're doing despite the trials and tribulations? So I think it goes back to that faith and that belief. I mean, you that has to be ingrained within you. Um, so that, you know, when you have those valleys, when you have those low points, you can see past that into the bigger picture, to the, the end goal, to the long term goal. You know, I was um, in in Clubhouse in Latanya White's um, room today and someone was talking about uh, generational um, wealth and dynastic wealth specifically and how, you know, it takes years. I mean, you have to be looking forward to, you know, decades, like, you know, 100, 120 years, like how you want, <laughs> yeah, how the things that you do today will affect your seed, your, you know, your your family, your legacy um, beyond you. you. I mean, you're not even going to see these people, but the things that you do now can impact that. So, that's that's kind of the seed that's been planted in me and in the mindset that I have, because not only do I want what I'm doing to benefit my family, but I also want it to benefit my community at large because mm. I just see such a great need um, in our community specifically. So, you know, I, I want to to hire young people. You know, we want to have a greater works university where we're teaching them about how to operate equipment and production and, and, you know, broadcasting and things of that nature. We want to be a pipeline for interns, you know, and, and just have opportunities for them to get hands on and, and, and boots on the ground and, and doing this work. So, yeah, that's that's part of what get over those hard times or come those those valleys, because, you know, I'm thinking about the greater picture, which is the, the, the future generation. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Um, your 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 passion is, it shows through your speech. It shows through the work that you're doing. Um, and I'm so proud to know you. It's an honor to know you seriously. Um, so while we got, first of all, um, so we've made it through the five steps of solving life's Ruby shoot, and we have officially solved the twists and turns of Miss Nicole Everett, y'all. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Give it up, give it up. Um, but. While we have somebody of your magnitude, while we got your attention, while we got you right now, we um we got to take full advantage. So are there any lasting words that you would like to um drop on us before we before we transition up out of here? Um, any words of wisdom, anything that you got going on that you want us to check out? Um, yeah, so please share, please share. Any words of wisdom that you want to drop? Definitely, you know, our platforms, Conversations with Nicole on YouTube. Um, we're on Instagram and Facebook as well, but also on Greater Work. So if you have a Roku TV player or stick, you can access us by typing in Greater Space Work Space Networks and adding us as a channel option. You need to add us at a as a channel option. And once you add us, we're there. So when you turn on your Roku TV or access your Roku stick or player, you'll see our GWN um, as a channel option. And then watch some of the shows. So, like I said, right now it's season seven, eight, and nine of Conversations with Nicole. Chuck did a, a preview or premiere of his um, new show, Front and Center, which featured Grim, Gwen Graham, but he has some, some more shows coming up. And then, like I said, we have quite a few other projects that will be coming on board um, in the very near future. So, stay tuned. Um, so, that would be, you know, a number one. We need that mm -hmm. type of. Um, Greater Works Network is also on Instagram and Facebook, so you can check us out there as well. Um, as it relates to this work of, you know, podcasting or, or, or virtual shows, I would just say be consistent. Um, and you have been consistent with Solve It Sundays. So, mm -hmm. and, you know, consistency is key. Consistency builds trust. Right, mm -hmm. they expect you on Sunday at 6 p.m. because that's the time that you have set and you show up and you're there. So, mm -hmm. consistency is key. I can't stress that enough, and it builds trust, and we need trust. I was, um, so we have a mutual friend in Vincent Hunt. I had a, a work session with Vincent, and he was working on my brand, giving me tips and pointers on my brand. Uh -huh. and 
um, the idea of Solve It Sundays was sparked there. And mm -hmm. I was nervous. I was afraid. You know how sometimes you're just afraid to take that leap and you're afraid mm -hmm. to jump. And I would have never thought that um, we, we, we've been doing Solve It Sundays for about, I think, about five or six months now this is probably episode in the, we're in the 30s now for the episodes i'm like wow i never thought um that it would be where it is right now or uh, just being consistent with it um but people are i see people in the in in, in the streets um hey man i love the show man thank you for having that such and such on man thank you for the platform and when you're consistent like you said when you're consistent um it breeds that trust and it builds relationships with with, with people who want to stay up to date with the work that you're doing so um, thank you for leading the way. Thank you for being a beacon of light in that yeah. realm. No, my pleasure. And Vincent, yes, love him. He's one of our brand agents. He's been on the show as well. Um, I think that was season two that uh, he appeared. But yeah, really, really, you know, somebody, he's a go-to for me. Um, you know, one of those that I spoke about earlier, he's going to give it to you straight and, and tell you, give, even push you beyond where you're, you know, whatever you're thinking. So. Yes, so yes, I have my life is like a mm. review book and I need to get it signed. So that would be the other thing that I would tell folks, get your copy. All right. I greatly appreciate this. Um, <laughs> I plan with 2021. I want to do a lot more of a life is like a Rubik's cube. I've been putting in some work behind the scenes and now I'm trying to, I'm just want to get more confidence mm. just sharing and doing it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayana's been pushing me. Ayana's been like, Daddy, I can solve rules. You taught me how to do it. You need to teach more. She's been pushing me to do stuff. So it's amazing to, exactly. to just be exactly. Forth. I've been seeing you with your workshops too, so that's great. Um, mm -hmm. the other thing that I would encourage folks to do to the extent that you can get some merchandise going, do it. Get a book, you know, some shirts, cups, whatever, something that lines up with your brand or what you're doing, do it. I, I, oh. I, I was kind of regretting that this, this last Black Friday, um, you know, I saw all types of people with merchandise. And I was like, man, you need to get me some merch. So trust and believe come November this year, I'm going to be ready. I'm 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 gonna manifest a book for a conversation with Nicole. Oh, it's already in the way. Look, quotes and notes. Yeah, yeah. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um beautiful people watching y'all. There we have it. We have the hardest working person in the land. I promise you, if you follow her platform, follow the work that she's doing, you will definitely be inspired. I mean, I'm always seeing the code at every event, supporting all events and all programs. It's amazing. It's like she's everywhere. Um, so thank you for your service to, to, to the Tallahassians. Um, we are greatly appreciated. We are greatly uh, indebted to you for your service. Uh, for those of y'all watching. Y'all be great like the lakes. Be blessed like a sneeze. And happy new year. Y'all, you know, yeah. let's be consistent in our, in our, in our, in our goals and our, in our, in using, utilizing our gifts and, and growing our skill set this year, y'all. So uh, let's yeah. bounce back. I know 2020 thank was a rough year. Let's let bounce just, back. Let me just say thank you, Derek, again. I know I, I thank you again for having me. I, again, this truly is an honor and a pleasure. I, I I, I respect you. I, I believe in you. I honor you. I love you as a brother. Um, you know, you just, I, I just, again, have been so just pleased at seeing your, your growth. And I especially love to see you with the children. Um, that just really warms my heart. So keep doing what you're doing, Dr. Standifer. Can't oh, wait till you get that, uh, that degree. Mm. We're going to have a a big celebration. <laughs> y'all ain't never seen no crybaby. baby. How y'all gonna see once that happens? So. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you again. And y'all be safe. Y'all um thank y'all for tuning in. And I will see y'all next Sunday. We got Miss Rayoni Madison. Um, she started an organization get, uh, geared towards helping single mothers out, out of out of Atlanta, Georgia. We have, have her on next Sunday for Solid Sundays. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll see y'all next week. Um, Nicole, stay on. So I need to have uh, just a chat with you for a hot second. All right.